Imagine waking up to find that North Korean hackers have infiltrated major U.S. tech companies. Industrial systems across 175 countries are exposed, and Apple is rushing to patch critical vulnerabilities. This isn't a plot from a cyber thriller. These are real events from this week's cybersecurity landscape. In today's video, we'll expose sophisticated state-sponsored attacks that happened this past week. Let's start with a chilling revelation about North Korean cyber operations. Security researchers have uncovered an elaborate scheme where North Korean threat actors are masquerading as legitimate U.S. software and technology consulting firms. But this isn't just another case of identity theft. It's part of a broader operation to fund missile programs and weapons of mass destruction. These attackers are running sophisticated front companies across China, Russia, Southeast Asia, and Africa. They're creating entire fake businesses, complete with professional websites copied from legitimate U.S. companies. The U.S. government recently seized 17 of these fraudulent websites, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Sentinel-1's investigation revealed four new front companies. Independent Lab, LLC, Shenyang Tony Wang Technology LTD, Tony WKJ LLC, and Hopana Tech. Each of these entities carefully copied their website formats from legitimate businesses, creating a convincing facade to defraud companies worldwide. The scariest part is that these workers are funneling their illegally obtained income back to North Korea through Chinese bank accounts and online payment services. Moving on to our next story, and this one should make every industrial facility manager lose sleep tonight. Researchers have discovered more than 145,000 industrial control systems exposed directly to the internet across 175 countries. Let that sink in. We're talking about systems that control everything from power plants to water treatment facilities. The United States alone accounts for over one third of these exposures. The breakdown is alarming. 38% in North America, 35.4% in Europe, and 22.9% in Asia. What's particularly concerning is how these vulnerabilities vary by region. Europe tends to have more exposed Modbus, S7, and IEC 608705104 protocols, while North America shows higher instances of Fox, Backnet, and ATG systems. Even more worrying, 34% of the exposed Seymour human machine interfaces are connected to water and wastewater facilities. Now let's talk about a groundbreaking development in vulnerability detection. Google's AI-powered fuzzing tool, OSS Fuzz, has identified 26 vulnerabilities in various open source projects, including a significant flaw in the OpenSSL cryptographic library. This vulnerability, tracked as CVE-2024-9143, has likely been lurking in the code for two decades. Think about that. A security flaw that's older than some of our viewers has been sitting there, waiting to be exploited. The impressive part is this discovery wouldn't have been possible with traditional human-written fuzz targets. The AI-powered tool has improved code coverage across 272 C, C++ plus projects, adding over 370,000 lines of new code to their testing scope. This represents a massive leap forward in how we detect and fix security vulnerabilities. Let's shift our focus to the development of malware evolution. Security researchers have detected an updated version of NodeStealer, a sophisticated malware that's now specifically targeting Facebook Ads Manager accounts. This malware now harvests credit card data stored in web browsers and collects detailed budget information from Facebook ad accounts. This is particularly dangerous because the attackers, believed to be Vietnamese threat actors, are using this information to facilitate unauthorized access to Facebook advertising and business accounts. Think about the implications. Compromised ad accounts could be used to spread malware through legitimate looking advertisements, potentially reaching millions of users. Now here's something that should concern Ubuntu server users. Multiple decade old security vulnerabilities have been discovered in the need restart package, which has been installed by default since version 21.04. These flaws aren't just old. They're extremely easy to exploit and could give attackers root privileges without requiring any user interaction. The vulnerabilities tracked as CVE-2024-48-90 through CVE-2024-48-92 have existed since April 2014. That's nearly a decade of potential exposure. What's particularly concerning is that these flaws allow attackers to execute arbitrary code 
as root through various methods, including manipulating Python and Ruby interpreters. In a major development that's causing waves in the Apple ecosystem, the tech giant has just released urgent security updates to patch two zero-day vulnerabilities that are actively being exploited in the wild. These flaws affect iOS, iPadOS, macOS, VisionOS, and Safari browser users. The first vulnerability, CVE 2024-44308, allows attackers to execute arbitrary code through malicious web content, while CVE 2024-44309 could enable cross-site scripting attacks. Apple has confirmed that these vulnerabilities have been actively exploited on Intel-based Mac systems. The discovery was made by Google's Threat Analysis Group, suggesting these flaws were likely being used in targeted spyware attacks. Speaking of ransomware, there's a new variant called Helldown that's expanding its reach to target VMware and Linux systems. This is particularly concerning because it represents an evolution in ransomware tactics, specifically targeting virtualized infrastructures. The group behind Helldown has already attacked at least 31 companies in just three months, focusing on sectors like IT services, telecommunications, manufacturing, and healthcare. Now here's something that should concern everyone planning to shop during Black Friday. Security researchers have uncovered a phishing campaign targeting e-commerce shoppers in Europe and the United States. The operation attributed to a Chinese threat actor codenamed Silk Spectre is creating fake discount sites that mimic legitimate brands like Ikea, L.L. Bean, North Face, and Wayfair. What makes this campaign particularly sophisticated is its use of Google Translate to automatically adjust the website language based on the visitor's location. They're also using tracking tools like TikTok Pixel and Metapixel to monitor their campaign's effectiveness. The domains use convincing extensions like .shop, .store, and .vip, often using slight misspellings of legitimate brand names. For WordPress users, there's a critical alert you need to know about. A severe authentication bypass vulnerability has been discovered in the really simple security plugin, affecting over 4 million WordPress sites. This flaw, which is tracked as CVE 2024-10924, could allow attackers to gain full administrative access to vulnerable sites remotely. This is particularly dangerous because the vulnerability is scriptable, meaning it could be used in large-scale automated attacks targeting multiple WordPress websites simultaneously. While the issue has been patched in version 9.1.2, the risk was so severe that WordPress took the unusual step of force updating all sites running this plugin. Then as Blue Sky crosses 20 million users, we're seeing the first wave of cryptocurrency scams hitting the platform. These scams are following a familiar pattern we've seen on other social media platforms, using AI-generated images and impersonating well-known tech figures to promote fake cryptocurrencies. One particularly sophisticated campaign is using meta-branding to promote a fake meta chain and meta coin, complete with professionally designed websites that closely mimic meta's official branding. Now let's discuss another development concerning the malware landscape. Security researchers have identified a new stealthy malware loader called Babel Loader that's being used to deliver information stealers like Whitesnake and Medusa. Babel Loader is particularly dangerous because of its sophisticated evasion techniques that can fool traditional and AI-based detection systems. This isn't your typical malware. Babel Loader uses metamorphic transformations that modify its structure to bypass behavioral detections. It even includes excessive junk code that causes analysis tools like IDA and Ghidra to crash, forcing security researchers to perform manual analysis. The malware targets both English and Russian-speaking users, primarily focusing on individuals searching for crack software and business professionals in finance and administration. In another concerning development, researchers have uncovered a critical threat to our VPN security. A threat actor, Brazen Bamboo, has been exploiting an unpatched vulnerability in Fortinet's FortiClient for Windows to steal VPN credentials. They're using this as part of a modular framework called Deep Data, which is designed to gather a wide range of information from target devices. The Deep Data framework isn't just about stealing VPN credentials. It's a comprehensive surveillance tool that can harvest data from popular communication platforms, including WhatsApp, Telegram, Signal, WeChat, Line, QQ, Skype, and Microsoft Outlook. 
It can also extract application passwords, web browser information, and details about Wi-Fi hotspots. Let's talk about a concerning development in artificial intelligence security. Researchers at Palo Alto Networks Unit 42 have discovered two major security flaws in Google's Vertex ML platform. These vulnerabilities could allow attackers to escalate their privileges and steal machine learning models. By exploiting custom job permissions, attackers could gain unauthorized access to all data services in a project and potentially compromise sensitive AI models. This makes it particularly dangerous. Attackers could create a custom job that runs a specially crafted image to launch a reverse shell, essentially creating a backdoor into the environment. Once inside, they can access internal Google Cloud repositories and download images. The second vulnerability involves deploying a poison model that creates a reverse shell when deployed to an endpoint. Here's a concerning development that shows just how creative cyber criminals are getting. Spotify, one of the world's largest music streaming platforms, is being exploited to promote pirated software and game cheats. Cybersecurity researchers have discovered that threat actors are creating playlists and podcasts with titles containing keywords related to pirated software and game cheats. Why Spotify? Well, it's brilliant in its simplicity. Spotify has immense domain authority with search engines like Google, meaning their web player results often appear high in search rankings. One recent example involved a playlist titled Sony Vegas Pro 13 Crack, which was designed to drive traffic to questionable software download sites. These sites often advertise free versions of expensive software. But here's the dangerous part. Downloading these cracked versions isn't just illegal, it's incredibly risky. While users might think they're getting expensive software for free, they're often unknowingly downloading malware, viruses, or adware hidden within these counterfeit programs. After hearing about these developments, how confident are you about your digital security? Are your systems up to date with the latest patches? Share your thoughts and concerns in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more critical cybersecurity updates.